Hello everyone, thank you very much for clicking and for watching the video. If you're new to the channel, welcome. This is the free game collection. We go out, we build a collection, we pay no money on it whatsoever, and you can replicate it yourself and build your own free game collection. Hope you enjoy it, hope you join us. If you're a turn subscriber, Welcome back. I hope your game collections are going well. I hope they're building up nicely. So this week, we're going to take a look at the second part of the car boot that we did in the last episode. So we looked at all the PS3 stuff last time because we found loads of it. This is all the rest of it. So you can tell it was a really good car boot uh, last week. Since then, I have been to Cash Converters and I did have a successful find in a charity shop as well. So we'll start with those. But yeah, good little... Good little amount of variety here. The two consoles, and we've got some games that cover a couple different systems. We have paid a little bit this week. Um, I've just noticed as I was setting up that, yeah, we spent quite a bit. So we'll have to see how we're going to make this for free. But let me show you what we picked up. So cash converters. Always start with cash converters when I go. First thing I picked up was Crash Bandicoot, the Insane Trilogy. Picked it up because it was 5 dollars six quid. I didn't, the app wasn't working in. It never works in that cash converters for some reason. But it wasn't working. I thought you'd get a little bit more for that. I thought it would maybe £10 cash, a little bit more on voucher. I thought it was still like a 20 pound game it's not it's a 15 pound game they'll still give me seven pound cash for it so we're okay but uh crash bandicoot the insane trilogy um already got it in my collection so we'll be moving that one on this one i picked up to add to the collection outright shadow of war now i think it was shadow of mordor the first one i absolutely loved it i think it was the um the the, the nemesis system where where the orcs would remember you and they get stronger and you had to find out how to be it was a fantastic i love it i was really engrossed in it didn't realize i don't think i've ever played shadow of war i think i really wanted to and it sort of passed me by i saw it in there i thought oh no now cex sell it for three pound but it was two pound in cash converter so i just picked it up didn't i and um, but yeah Pick that up. Going to be keeping hold of that and looking forward to giving it a good play. Can't can't believe. I had to really think. I definitely haven't played Shadow of War, which is mental when I stop and think about it. But yeah, two power for Shadow of War, fantastic. Next one was a charity shop find. Now, this charity shop doesn't often have games, uh, to be honest, but they seem to just be like a shelf of games that just popped up out of nowhere. They look like they did a little little refurbish and there were some bits around. There was a lot of fodder on there and they were all a pound each, but I picked these five up. These ones, these ones are quite good. So first one, Crash Bandicoot, The Wrath of Cortex. Haven't played it. I've only played the PS1. Well, I played that Crash Bandicoot we just looked at and all the PS1 ones. I haven't played one on the PS2, but I've already got it in my collection. But Crash Bandicoot, The Wrath of Cortex, that was nice to pick up. Sonic Heroes on the PS2. We picked this up a couple times last year, and I think I've picked it up once already this year as well. So it must be quite a common title. Um, I haven't played it. I haven't played many Sonic games. Um, but yeah, glad to pick that one up. FIFA Streets, this one's okay. Um, you don't get too much for it. I picked it up last year a couple of times, so I remember it. I think I think you get about £2 cash for it, about £3 on a voucher or something like that. So if you're paying a pound for it, you're doubling your money, triple on a voucher. So pick that up, happy with that one. Skate 3 for a pound, not bad at all. We picked this up as well. I've already got it in the collection. This is a nice copy, this one. It's really nice. Um, I am a bit of a bit of a Tony Hawk's fanboy, but I know that the Skate series is decent. I have played this briefly. It was it was good. It was okay. Can't, can't fault it. This one's nice. So Midway Arcade Treasures 3. Um, it seems to be the 8-bit retro racing classic. So you've got Hydro Thunder, Off-Road, uh, Rush 2049, Stun Runner. Um, I haven't played any of those, to be completely honest with you. I do have Midway Arcade Treasures 1 already, so I assume there's a 2 out there if this is a 3. So I should try to get hold of that now, but I'll definitely be keeping hold of that one. So glad to glad to be adding a PS2 game to the collection, which looks like a decent game. So those 5 for a fiver, not bad at all. So th this, is, so this is all car boot now, back to the car boot. So this was a nice one. Guy had uh, loads and loads of DVDs, just trays of them. Uh, 20 pence for the DVDs. I was looking through, looking through, and I start to notice one or two uh, PS2 games were in there, a couple 360 as well, but they're all fodder all really bad apart from these two rayman 3 and rayman revolution were in there so i paid 40 pence for these two which is brilliant now i've already got rayman 3 so i'll be moving that one on but rayman revolution i don't have this one so i'll be keeping hold of it fortunately it doesn't have a manual but hey ho for 20p what are you going to do? So 40 pence for those two was absolutely brilliant. It is always worth having a quick look in those DVD uh, cases. If you go to the if you go to the car boots, the people with the big uh, DVD boxes, sometimes they do sneak in there. So that was a good find. This one, this one, not so much. So I paid five pound for these three games. Um, I don't know why I did it, to be honest. I don't, I don't, well, I do know. I'll tell you what, oh, I'll tell you why. The Conduit. So this is a Wii game, as you can probably tell. It just, I've never seen it before. It looked really good. It's in lovely condition. Um, um, I just, I just never seen it. It looked, it looks expensive, doesn't it? It looks rare. It looks like something. It just, it just looks like something good. And um, it's not. Maybe if I just show you the normal case, you might recognise it. 
recognize it now it doesn't go for very much at all but i don't have it in the collection i have had a quick look at the reviews and it reviews quite highly so it might be worth keeping hold of it and like i say it is in lovely condition so i think i'll be keeping hold of that one but it sort of tricked my mind the loveliness of that for this deal so grand theft auto episodes of liberty city this one we're sort of relying on a little bit to get some of the money back it's okay the, the case is a bit battered it's got a manual if i remember right the disc is fine but some light scratches yeah it got some light scratches but it should be fine and um, so we're relying on getting a bit of money back from that and the lord of the rings return of the king on ps2 what a game i keep getting confused because i always think it's the two towers which is the two player version which i played so much as a kid i mean i played two towers as well obviously but this is the two player one so this is a fantastic game i've obviously already got it in the collection but what an absolute nostalgia hit for the lord of the rings return of the king and i think that swayed me as well that nostalgia when i saw it but five pound for those three not the best but i'm um, hope hopefully we'll be okay tell you what let's do one of these consoles quickly so I hope there was a guy and he had a bag full of Xbox 360 games and it had the Amazing Spider-Man in there. Now, if you remember from last year, I picked up two empty cases of the Amazing Spider-Man because I don't have it in the collection and the disc is always missing. The disc was missing again. It's absolutely ridiculous. That's the third time I found the empty case. I just want the Amazing Spider-Man on Xbox 360. It ain't even that expensive, um, but I'm refusing to buy it now out of principle. It's weird. He had that. Unfortunately, it weren't there, but he started to bring out loads of other games. His games were a little overpriced, to be honest, four or five pounds each. He had this Wii, so it's a black Wii. It's GameCube backwards compatible. It does have all the cables, absolutely everything with it. It works absolutely fine, which is fantastic. It came with one normal Wii remote and a black Wii Motion remote as well, obviously with a nunchuck, so that's fantastic. Now, he wanted 15 quid for it. He would not budge on price, but he also had was Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 2. I love Dragon Ball, as you probably know. I don't have it on the Wii. I've got it on the PS2, so I thought I've got to pick that up. Um, really have to. I went £2 for that, so 17 quid, and I paid him 17 quid. He was, he was, <laughs> negotiation was not in his, uh, in his dictionary. He was, he had no interest in it whatsoever. So £17 I paid for this. We should be okay, because the Wii, the Wii's going up quite a bit in CEX now. You get quite a bit for it. So as long as they accept it, we should be okay. I'm going to try trade it in with the white remote because the Wii Motion you can do separately for a little bit more so that's the plan with it so it should be okay but I'm definitely keeping the Dragon Ball Z part of it and um, so yeah picked up a Wii I think that might be the first Wii we've picked up this year maybe the second but I think it's the first um which is great let's go do some games I've got a GameCube game The Incredibles I paid a pound for it I thought I was quids in no no it's actually losing money which is shocking because gamecube games are usually quite valuable i don't have a gamecube um well i got the i got the backwards compatible Wii, to be honest so i suppose i do uh, but i don't collect for gamecube the disc and everything's in great condition but yeah a bit of a dud on that one i never pick up gamecube and it was a pound someone's been trying to sell it for three pound at some point in time and um, but pound for that not fantastic unfortunately these ones so these were a pound, 50 pence each. And I thought, again, we we're doing all right. First one's The Sims 3. We pick that up all the time, quite common. It's okay. The case is battered. The disc is lovely, if I remember correctly. Yeah, the case is a bit nasty. I might have to change that, but the disc is absolute mint. It's a weird one, that. But Sims 3, 50p. Yes, please. Get a little bit back for it. This one surprised me. Brutal Legend. This is the Jack Black game. Uh, it's got a bit of a cult following. I have played it. I didn't get on with it too well. Um, I think I played it for about an hour or two, and I kept getting stuck and got a bit frustrated, so I never went back to it. But I know people hold in high regards 50p i thought this was going to do well i don't think i get my 50p back for it to be honest with you it, it, it's right down there in value in cx which is surprising it's a, it's a bit disappointing but yeah brutal legend jack black if you like this game put in the comments because yeah i don't see why it's so cheap but yeah i always see it popping up on these on these hidden gem videos and what have you so yeah it's weird that but yeah 50p uh for that so pound for those two you're not complaining though are you uh, next one was a great find uh batman 3 beyond gotham no other games nothing else gaming related this was just sitting on the table wanted a pound for it fantastic we picked that up a couple times this year as well that must be quite a common game uh let's do the last two games so so guy had an xbox 360 bundle and um, he wanted 40 50 pounds something like that for it i asked if he'd sell the game separately because he had um he had about 10 15 games but there was two in there i really wanted he said yes yeah. so he said two pound each i was like okay so i paid four pound for these first one lord of the rings on xbox 360 we got it on ps3 the other week and we had it on 360 the other week as well so we keep finding this which is great because it's one of the better lego games so two pound for that is a great return this is the proper one i was well chuffed with Family Guy, back to the multiverse on the Xbox 360. This is 25 pounds in CX, and it's a really good copy. It's got the manual, the disc is in great condition as well. Absolutely lovely. Yeah, good little find, two pound for that. I've already got it in my collection. 
I haven't played it and I don't know why. I really don't know why. I think this might be right up the backlog for me now because I've, I've looked at it um, had a look, quick look at the reviews as well. It seems to be okay. You know, something like Family Guy. It's not the best game in the world from what I can gather, but it's still perfectly good, perfectly good, enjoyable time. So I'll probably be probably be having a little go on that in the near future, but I've already got in the collection. So that's going to get us a nice bit back. So that was a good game to find. The last thing is I found a 2DS. Paid eight pounds for this. You wanted 10, but it didn't come with the cable, which isn't a problem because I've got one for mine. Um, so I paid eight pounds for it, which is fantastic. It works perfectly. It's in lovely condition. I, I had a quick look. I have 11 DSs, don't ask, and I have got three, three DSs, but I don't have any two DSs. Um, I've never found a two DS because I've never traded any in. So this is the first time I've ever come across one out and about. So I'm definitely keeping hold of this. Um, I don't know if there's anything special to it other than, than, than a normal DS. Um, I honestly don't. I know 3DS games work in it. It is missing the stylus, but that's not a problem because I've actually got spares of those. Um, but yeah, Nintendo 2DS. Never had one. So I'm definitely going to be keeping hold of this. And for eight quid, that's a bargain because CX charge quite a bit for this quite a bit for the ds so that's a uh, 2ds so i'm keeping all that so yeah this week uh really really chuffed to be honest because it got some consoles which is nice to see and a great little variety of games it's all a uh, bit all over the shop with these i don't know what i'm gonna do with all this in regards to keeping it trading it and what have you i need to sit down and have a good look because we have spent a little bit here and we've got to we've got to claw that money back somehow so i'll figure out how to do it but i'll do that thing i'll go to cx and i'll be back in a minute so I am back from CX. It's gone really well. Something went a bit squiffy, but it's sort of my fault because I took my eyes off the ball in CX. I'll, I'll go over it now, but let's start by doing what we always do. It's take away what everything you just saw cost us, 50 pound and 40 pence. So let's take 50, 40 away. That's the most we've spent in a week so far this year, but we did get quite a lot of stuff, but means we've got, got to get all of that money back to make it free. How do we do it? So firstly, the Wii console. Got really confused looking at the CEX um, app, actually, how much I was actually going to get for it. There's a lot of different variations of the Wii on there. In the end, I couldn't be asked. I put it on Facebook Marketplace. And of course, I asked for 20 quid. Got 20 quid in a day for it, which is fantastic. I, I chucked a few loose discs in to, to sweeten the deal and I sold it with one Wii remote and nunchuck. Um, someone came and got it that day. So £20 for that. Fantastic. I did that before I went to CEX, so I knew exactly what I needed to get back. So I need £30.40 to make it free. Leveled it all out before I went to make sure I had enough and it went a bit weird in there. And I'll, I'll explain it really quickly now. So Lego Batman, £2 cash. Crash Bandicoot, £7. Family Guy, back to the multiverse, £10. The Wii remote, so it was the one with the motion built in. I took my eyes off it. It came, they get, they put it through as the, just the black remote. So I got 11 pound on a voucher, which means when she told me how much I was getting back, it was only 30 pounds. So I knew that weren't right because I'd made sure it was over 30 pound 40. Anyway, I was flustered. I should have asked about the Wii remote because there's barely anything there. Um, but yeah, I, I didn't stop and think, hang I should, I should have questioned it a bit more, but I just instead handed her another game. I gave a Lord of the Rings one pound 50 cash to make sure it was all there. So £31.50 from CEX plus the £20 from Facebook, £51.50. So let's see, £51.50 all there, which is fantastic. I think we've made a pound 10 there, but we've got it all free, nice and easy to understand. So we did it again, another, another week of free video game collecting and we got some vouchers. So Sonic Heroes, £2. Crash Bandicoot, Wrath of Cortex, £4. The Sims, £1.60. FIFA Streets is £3. Skate is £5. And Rayman 3 was £2, £17.60 on a free voucher. Stick that up there as well. So absolutely for all this free voucher, this is what we need to get those games that we want to add to the collection later on in the year, and really hone in on, on getting the games that we really, really want. So 1760 to do that, we'll get, we'll get a good game for that or a good contribution to a, to a more expensive game, a rarer game. What went on here then? What have we kept? Because we've kept stuff, which is fantastic. One thing, a couple of things I need to touch on. Grand Theft Auto episodes of Liberty City and Lord of the Rings. Uh, they weren't happy with these. They said they were a bit too scratched. They are a little bit scratched, but there's nothing wrong with them. So we'll try those again another week. So hopefully got a little bit more voucher to come from there. The Incredibles, they gave you hardly anything for this. And this is a GameCube game in good condition. So do you know what? I think I'm just going to let this run on Vinted. Um, no need to just give it away. I'm not going to start collecting for GameCube at any point. I wouldn't have thought anyway. Um, so I'll just keep that running over. And yeah, Brutal Legend, penny or 10p game on a voucher. Um, it's not worth it. Like I've said this so many times, we don't go out and put all this effort in just to give these things away. So I'll put that to the side. Who knows? Couple years might be worth a bit more. So they're set to the side. 
and here's what we're keeping. So what are we keeping? So the eight Retro Racing Classics Midway Arcade Treasures 3. Keep in hold of this. So I've got Midway Arcade Treasures 1. I want number two now and that'd be lovely because there's only the three of them. So keep in hold of that. That's in lovely condition. That's great. Rayman Revolution. Um, as I say, never, never seen this one ever, but Rayman is a good, good series. So glad to be adding that for free. CEX yeah, had it for a couple quid as well, which ain't too bad. Um, we've got the couple Wii games. So yeah, look at the conduit. It just looks lovely. It just looks really nice. Doesn't look really expensive. I've had a look at the reviews. This does review very, very well. Um, um, so I am going to keep hold of it and I think I'll give it a little little go next time I chuck the Wii on. Yeah, it, it's it's just one that seems to be quite highly praised. Um, it's compatible with the Wii Speak as well, which I do have and never had an opportunity to use. So there we go. There we go. Might use it for that. And of course, Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 2. Really glad to be adding this. And this is just made me realize because I Googled at Googled because I typed in Wii um, Dragon Ball Z. I never realized there's another Dragon Ball game exclusive to the Wii based on just Dragon Ball, not Dragon Ball Z. I never knew it existed. It's a little bit pricey, but I think that's just made its way onto my hit list for the Wii collection as well. So I found a new game by picking this up, um, which, is, which is nice, it's great. Um, so Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenchi 2, so I say that fast, added to the collection. And oh, sorry, I should touch on this. Yeah, sorry, I've got this as well. Um, no reason, I left it in the corner and completely forgot about it. Uh, I just saw it sitting there. So yeah, I'll keep hold of that uh, i'm probably i think i've already got one black wee nunchuck so there you go that'll just be I'm sure that'll come in handy somewhere down the line i'm bound to pick up a wee missing a, a missing a nunchuck so there we go um and of course shadow of war keeping this i have already started playing this it's good it's, it, it's the game i remember except I don't know if it was, I've just forgotten, but there seems to be a lot more going on in this version. I played it for like an hour, hour and a half, two hours. It's just a lot of information in a very short period of time and things to collect, things to do, things to remember. It was a little bit overwhelming. I was playing quite late at night, um, but yeah, it looks fantastic. I just need to sit down and, and dedicate a couple 10, 20, 30, 40 hours to it, but I'm really looking forward to that. So sh uh, Shadow of War, fantastic. And the big thing to add a console that I don't have to the collection, the Nintendo 2DS. So really glad to be out. I just can't believe I've never come across one. Never ever come across one. This one's in lovely condition. Works absolutely fine. Doesn't have a charger, but it doesn't matter because I've got a couple lying around which I've used for the 3DS. Doesn't have a stylus. Unfortunately, I have quite a few stylus, but I don't have a red one. Uh, I do have a white one though, so I might stick a white stylus with it because that might go quite nicely. No SD card in it either, unfortunately. So I've got a couple of them lying around, but yeah, adding a new free card. And this goes for a couple of quid again in CEX. This is not cheap. If you want to walk into a CEX, pick this up. So to manage to get this for free, it's absolutely fantastic. So I finally got a 2DS. So yeah, this week, all the money back, nice and free. Even though we spent 50 quid, we got it free, which is fantastic. 17 odd quid on a voucher, brand new handheld, lovely stack of games, really chuff, really chuff. And obviously now it's, it's well into spring now. I don't know when summer starts, but it's nice and hot outside. So hopefully the car boots will be nice and consistent. We can get out to them a lot more and the, 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 the hunting, the collecting can, can really ramp up from here on in. So I'm looking forward to it now. Thank you very, very, very much for watching. Take care of yourselves.